God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who, being in the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtain a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, And let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels he saith, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is for ever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated inequity. Therefore God, even thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. Thy, they shall perish, but thou remainest, and they all shall wax old as does a garment, and as a vesture shalt thou fold them up, and they shall be changed, but thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? The answer is yes, they are all ministering spirits. Angels are spirits. They are not sons, they are not daughters, they are spirits. And that's as clear as it gets. Right, so let's trace this uh, sons of God. Because it seems to me like a whole lot of people are being taught something that is simply confusing and untrue not supported by the Bible let me make it real simple okay we can trace the sons of God all the way back to Adam so this is when it begins Luke 3 chapter 3 verse 38 which was the son of Enos which was the son of Seth which was the son of Adam which was the son of God Adam was the son of God all right, so now this changed when God gave Abraham a promise and a covenant to Abraham and to Isaac. Now, that promise, that covenant made between God and Abraham was through Isaac. So now the children of Isaac became the children of Israel, and the children of Israel are the sons of God. It's the same thing. Sons of God, children of Israel, it's the same thing. Now, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and so now, by faith, in the Lord Jesus Christ because we believe in him now are we the sons of God alright so now are we that great nation of God so the, I, I, I've shown this I go over this all the time it seems like it gets missed by 
everybody. It's unbelievable. You are a chosen people. If you are a Christian, a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are a chosen a chosen nation. All right. So that nation in the Old Testament was the children of Israel. You can't dispute that. And that's because of the covenant God made with Abraham and his son Isaac. And Isaac is Israel, and Israel became a great nation, the nation of God. So the children of Israel is the children of God, and the children of God is the very same thing as the sons of God. And now today, we that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ are the sons of God. We are the children of God. We are the nation of Israel. And so uh, it, it's that simple. It really is. All right, so let me end with this here. Oh, let's see here. Hebrews 8, verse 6. But now has he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises all right if you understand that you understand that there was an old covenant that old covenant was with Abraham and Isaac and it was the children of Israel they were the sons of God you can trace that all the way back to Adam Adam being the first son of God and then all the way to the Lord Jesus Christ who is the only begotten Son of God and now through him through faith in him being born of the Spirit of God are we the sons of God it's really that simple all right so you, I've heard all kinds of nonsense and it's easy to get confused but hopefully I made this simple enough that everybody can understand who watches this first John chapter 3 beloved now are we the sons of God now are we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is.